Africa has been declared free from naturally occurring polio, a disease that used to leave tens of thousands of children paralyzed every year. Nigeria was the last country on the continent to have a case of wild polio four years ago. Now there are just two countries on the planet where the disease is endemic. Here's our medical editor, Fergus Walsh. Just two drops of vaccine can prevent polio. Now Africa's children are protected. Polio can cause lifelong paralysis. These men in Nigeria, part of a para-soccer league, are powerful advocates for immunization. As a polio survivors, we know the difficulties we have faced before now, many years ago, and, and today I'm, I'm happy that we are no longer, or we are not going to have any polio uh, affected child in our country, Nigeria. There are still some cases of vaccine-derived polio in Africa, which occur in low immunization areas, but naturally occurring polio has been eradicated. Back in 1988, when the Global Eradication Initiative was launched, polio was endemic in 125 countries. More than 1,000 children a day used to be paralyzed. Since then, cases have fallen by 99.99%. When India was declared polio-free, that was a big moment. It's now circulating in just two countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan. There have been more than 100 cases of wild polio there this year. This is an extraordinary achievement for public health and for the African continent. It shows what can be achieved when countries work together, together with international organization, with civil society, with industry, to actually achieve a common goal. There's also been progress with other vaccine preventable diseases. Back in 1990, there were 700,000 deaths a year from measles, a highly contagious virus. Those have fallen by three quarters, although cases have since risen sharply. There's also been a fall in deaths in two bacterial infections, whooping cough and hid meningitis. So vaccines have saved more lives in public health in the last 25 years than any other intervention apart from clean water. So just to give an example, in 1990, one in 11 children used to die before their fifth birthday. That's now down to one in 25. Most countries are now using an injectable polio vaccine as global eradication inches closer. The aim? To consign polio to history. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.